Let's take a look at the guides tool. This is in Vizbug where, if, so I'm gonna launch Vizbug here. It's the default tool. You don't have to do anything after you launch Vizbug to get it. It's just sort of there. And what it does is measures and has um, guides that show up. So what it's supposed to do is it's snapping to all the elements that you hover over and will show guides in the, in the window so that you can see it comparing it to other elements. And if you select one and then you hover over to the next item, you'll see all of its uh, distance between there and that other item. And so that might be all four edges or just some. And so this is just some interesting stuff that um, like Vizbug does. So here I am, uh, I clicked something, which when you click things, they go pink. And when you hover on things, they're purple. The idea there is to just sort of like know where you came from and where you're going. And you can see already, so I selected a route, and when I started hovering somewhere new, I have guides that show up between the box of the element that is like the root element. It's like the anchor. I think that's what I call it in code. It's like the anchor and the item that you're hovering towards. And depending on what those deltas are, I'll draw them for you. So we see here that we have a space between, so it's like inner space. So our box that's our root is larger than our other one. And so we see how, what, like what's the distance between the edges there and what's the dif distance from the, the top of the root to the bottom of our target. And we can basically measure like how far are these apart? Now that's kind of like not very useful in this view, but a, a thing I do all the time is you know, I don't maybe have a gap tool available. And so what I can do is I can select a root item here. I'll hold shift, I'll select the next item and select the next item. And I'll just start stacking these different uh, measurements together and I can basically get a gap and I can hold shift and go over here and kind of do this whole thing. And there you go, I can quickly, you know, verify that yes, um, all of these are appropriately 16 pixels apart. Okay, that's nice. And then you do notice that the guides disappear when you click. So the, the like dashed guides, the little ants are only there temporarily. I won't persist them on screen. Um, I had prototypes where I did, but they would just pile up and get really messy and you would lose the grid lines that you were trying to measure. So the only things that I keep there are the um, distance measurements themselves. Um, but the guide tool has more to offer than just distance. So um, notice how I'm like clicking new items and that means I'm continuously measuring and maybe you're like I wanted to click off and deselect so if you hit escape you will deselect so this is just a Vizbug general use case um, it's pretty much a design tool thing as well as hitting escape will uh, remove a selection there's really no way to click off of the artboard in Vizbug so I suppose that would be the, the way you do the design tool but <laughs> in Vizbug you hit escape and now you're back to just hovering so we see a purple outline that's the hover um, overlay that I create and then we see our guidelines. I find this alone to be really, really helpful uh, in scenarios like here, I'll find one. Okay, so here I'm hovering here. I can see that the very left edge of pinned and the very right edge of custom pins uh, are within the same guidelines that the rest of the layout is. Now that's really important to be able to check just quickly visually. Um, you know, and I can measure in here and I can see that all these boxes that the developers have built um, align up very nicely. So there's like, they're preparing themselves and the design team for success here, making sure that these boxes are right. And then I can keep measuring these things. Look, okay, that circle, it's perfectly within the box. Okay, that's great. Um, I mean, I'm not expecting to find any bugs here. I'm thinking this is like a really good site. <laughs> so I'm, I'm not hunting for issues though. We might find one, I don't know. Okay, what else we got in here? So really small things like this. So there's a few ways to sort of inspect stuff like this. Um, I'm using um, the Mac OS sort of accessibility zoom feature that they have. And I really like this just for showing demos and just for inspecting things myself when, well, I don't have perfect vision and sometimes things are really tiny. So this is really nice. So I'm just holding control and scrolling in and then Vizbug uh, doesn't know or care that that's even happening and it will continue creating guides for the things I hover on. So there's like multiple levels of things that Vizbug's even showing right here. So there's the SVG, uh, which I can see over here in the left, I can change the color of the SVG. But if I zoom in, I can see, that, so there was that SVG and then outside of it was like another bounding box. And so here, let's zoom out here, go here and I can, see, anyway, there's multiple here, I'll hit escape. There were multiple boxes here and you can see Vizbug is like, well, there's the, the shape probably, there's the, the box itself, uh, and there's probably an SVG box and maybe a rect anyway. So there's like layers of things in here that Vizbug has access to and you can see those. Um, and, and almost like we can see that our star is not vertically center. And that looks to be because the, 
it's it's being drawn in a oh look that box oh we can see we found a bug well i don't know if it's a bug but and maybe these are baseline aligned no i don't think so but essentially we can see that the purple or the pink dash that's underneath pro shouldn't that be lining up underneath the 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 pro tag here so the border that is the gray border at the bottom um we i i think that those should be the same height um anyway so the guides tool right <laughs> this is what it does and and what i think it's good at helping you find it can find really really micro things that you need to measure or or discover if they're they have the proper box size or you can do macro layout and really look at the whole page and, and verify that things are within a, in a grid and then you can measure so the guides tool really, um, it has a hot key of G. You can switch to it in case you're on a different tool. If you hit escape, you will unselect. If you hold shift, you can multi-select and continue making more and more measurements. And um, that is about everything to show you about Visbug guides. And I'll make another video about some other tool later. And until then, enjoy, and I'll see you later. Bye.